What's going on, Zero Magnum X? Uh, sorry about the clickbaity title, uh, but I figured maybe a draw you in. It is a generator deck profile that we're going to be showcasing here. Um, so hopefully you enjoy it, and it's a super fun deck. I played it to a 3 1 success at our sneak and 2 1 success at the locals. Uh, the losses were versus Lunalite, Orcus, uh, we got in a grindy matchup. It took Time Thief Redoer to grab some traps and bounce some cards in that game. And then uh, versus... Uh, I can't remember the name. Guru Control. I had a little bit of unlucky pull or draws and other things. So I adjusted the deck to compensate. So this is the uh, most up-to-date version I own. And hopefully you like it. Uh, these are just some neat tokens a friend of mine made since we create tokens with boss stage and uh, I'll go I have a side deck but really the overall point of the deck is to make sure that these cards here the generator boss monsters get to the field and disrupt our opponent so we're gonna go over the main deck here where we run two Mardell generator boss of light um, you can only control one of her, so that's a bit of a difference between, I think, some of the other ones. She searches our spell and trap cards from the deck when she's uh, summoned. So two, I was running three, it got a little bricky. Next up is the newest card in addition to the deck is uh, Utgarda. Generator boss of delusion that almost sounds kind of German. Anyway, uh, when this is out, you can tribute to generator uh, monsters or I believe rock monsters, yeah, and target one card in the field and banish it. It's a once hard once per turn effects like they all are, but hey, you know what? This card is pretty boss. So I actually run three of it. I noticed a lot of decks running two. Uh, maybe when we get the new support from the new set, we run less. But right now I think it's a 3 of because you want this card to cycle uh, and come back and make sure it's always a presence on the field to just disrupt them. Disrupting our opponent is the entire game plan of this deck. And then smashing in with giant level 9 monsters or rank 9. Alright, next up we have uh, 2 Nidhogg uh, Generator Boss of Ice. He is uh, our inherent special summon negator so if they like play a cyber dragon or link summon or synchro summon exceeds fusion whatever uh, we can sack a generator monster or in his case also a um i guess a worm monster so if you need worms uh for a subtyping he could maybe fit his way into that kind of deck like True Draco or something. Probably not. Uh, anyway, and he stops the summon. We run one of this card. This card is bad. I don't like it at all. Uh, it does way too much for so little. And I know it sounds weird. Uh, basically, when he's out, you can pop as many generator... You can only control one of him, too. That's the rough part. Oh, I think... Maybe they all do say that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you can't pull multiple copies out. But that's fine. Um, miss that, but... Sure. Anyway, uh, he allows you... Or she... I don't know. It's ambiguous. You tell me. Um, to pop any number of generator monsters you have to target that many monsters your opponent has and destroy them. But then your opponent gets to draw a card for each one you destroy. So that's really bad. You are nagging yourself with this card. 
it is in the deck to simply be another level 9 monster for, of course, we are playing World Legacy Monstrosity. So, this card is in there just to be able to grab it for that if it's our one-off. We never want to play this card. Uh, it's a perfect target to discard or put back under the bottom of the deck to draw some cards. Alright, next up we run to... Oh, that, sorry, its name is uh, Frody Generator Boss of Swords. Okay. Next up is uh, Gila Generator Boss of Doom. This card's our Monster Reborn of the deck. So, uh, quick effect, you can tribute a generator token, which is what we're doing, or a monster, and then special summon a generator or a zombie monster from your graveyard to the field. This might actually see some play in zombies, uh, if you can pull it out through shenanigans, which only should be able to because she's a zombie. So, probably easy enough to do, but you'd have to then, like, sacrifice another zombie to grab a zombie so pseudo zombie monster but in our deck you know we're going after the generator monsters all right next up is Neg Lafar generator boss of fire beast warrior has all the same text as the other ones but in this case if a uh, card you control be destroyed by battle or card effect you can destroy one generator monster or one beast warrior monster you control instead so Keeps our guys alive through World Legacy Monstrosity. Uh, Nightmare Incarnation Idli. As far as I know, <coughs> pardon me, this stops our guys dying from uh, Monstrosity. So, if we have a level 9 out and we play Monstrosity, we grab this and something else, and then Monstrosity shouldn't be able to destroy them because it stops your monsters dying from card effects. I think it's specifically the level 9 monsters. Yeah, level nine, level 9 monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it's a one-of, uh, just for that reason. Alright, these are the <coughs> non-level 9s. Three Lone Fire Blossoms, so we can get access to our main search card. It's a starter. We need these uh, to find Mardell if we don't have our uh, field spell. Or a way to generate our field spell quickly. Uh, three Ash Blossom, because it's pretty much a standard staple uh, hand trap, wear disruption deck. I shouldn't have to explain Ash Blossom at this uh, year and point in the game. <laughs> Alright, uh, Generator Boss Stage. This is how we win the game. Uh, this card is the most important card in our deck. I will read it for you. Uh, there's a nice copy you can look at while I'm doing so. Once per turn, if a card, in, in parentheses with an S, is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, except during the damage step. Okay, so ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that means if they draw a card, it counts. You can special summon one generator monster from your deck in defense position. If you special summon a generator monster from your, or during your opponent's turn, Except during the damage step, you can special summon as many generator tokens, very light level 4, attack and defense 1500, as possible in attack position, but destroy them during the end phase, even if this card is uh, off the field. And then you can only use this, or yeah, you can only use this effective generator boss stage once per turn. So, once per turn effect, um, but very, very powerful. Grabs our level 9s and lets us play to an absurd and powerful amount. Uh, so three of that, of course. One terraforming, because it's another copy of it. Uh, this should be two Call by the Grace. Right now we're running three, because I need another uh, Kuju Curry Curse. I think that's how you say it. Um, so it will be two and two. Uh, this is our trade-in. Discard a level 9 monster, draw two cards. Simple enough. Uh, generator Boss Quest. Reveal one generator monster in your hand. If you do, add to, up to two generator spawn trap cards with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. Uh, except for generator boss quest. This is another way for us to grab our field spell. Um, and then you choose that generator monster you revealed and it goes on the bottom of your deck. So 
it's nice because it plays well with boss stage. We run two of that. Uh, we run three World Legacy Monstrosity. Uh, for those who don't know what this does, uh, activate one of these effects. Special summon one level 9 monster from your hand. Simple enough. The other effect is you choose a level 9 monster. Special summon from your deck two level 9 monsters, each with different original type and attribute that uh, than the face-up targeted monster. And with different names from each other. But they cannot attack. Also destroy them at the end phase. And you can only use one monstrosity per turn. Uh, so that's why we grab in lead to protect it. Two Dark World Dealings. Uh, our boss stage works when our opponent draws a card. So this is draw a card and special summon from our deck. Alright, now this is going to be where the deck may shift away a little bit from being uh, budget friendly. I got these whenever they were like dipping under 30s. If you did not, I am sorry. Uh, there are a plethora of different options for trap cards that you can use. Uh, Crackdown is a great example. Um, that's probably like one of the easy switches you can make. And then like whatever other trap cards you want to run if you want to be creative. The idea is to disrupt our opponent and that's what this helps with. So we run three infinite impermanence. Um, two trap trick. Uh, this is for the, not the immediate next card, but for this card specifically. Uh, if you don't know what trap trick does, I'm not going to explain it. But it it's another copy of any traps we run copies of in our deck. Um, generator boss fight though is the big one. Um, this is Metaverse for our deck on steroids. Activate one Generator's Field Spell directly from your deck or graveyard. Then your opponent draws one card. You can only activate one of these per turn. So sadly we can't just like chain because I think the first part of boss stage I think the token part's a hard ones per turn. I don't know if it's like the first part that isn't. So they they prevented you from spamming out level mines, basically. So we're in three of these. Technically, four to five because of Trap Trick. And this is the most questionable card in the deck, as weird as that sounds. It's Metaverse. We get to activate our uh, field spell, which is great. Okay. But equally, it may end up in a result where, like, they don't really draw in their turn or add a card from their deck to their hand, search, whatever, so your boss stage won't fire. Uh, whereas, boss fight immediately causes it to go off. But I'm still testing it. Uh, in theory, it's good. <coughs> Extra deck, play whatever you want, aside from these. Um, these are all mandatory. Those are level 9 rank XEs. And then I run this because it's in theory good. Uh, for those, you probably know True Keen. For those who don't know what the boss monsters do, um, two plus level nine monsters. You can only control one uh, Jormungadar? Sure. I butchered that. I am sorry. This card's original attack and defense becomes 1,000 times the number of materials. Quick effect, you can do. Uh, detach one material from this card. Each player draws one card. Then each player that drew attaches one card from their hand or field to this card. You can only use this effect of it once per turn. So he gets bigger and triggers boss stage and plays into the archetype. Um, I just ran a bunch of staples. You know, to disrupt uh, for good disruption plays. OTK if we ever get there and get into some crazy game. Uh, take their big stuff, get around Chaos Max if we have a weird spot. But if we're being able, if we're able to summon any of these, we're probably winning anyway. But you never know. Uh, spawn Trap Removal and Downward Arrows. To explain those. But like I said, you can pretty much run whatever you want. It's just the level 9 Ixyz monsters are the most important. And this is what I'm running for my new uh, side deck, if anyone's interested. This is level 9. It's good. Two of that. And three of this. It might be overkill, but 
For right now, I'm testing this. This changed originally was just uh, the two gamma seals, and I picked these up because I didn't have them before, uh, and now we do. So this might be a real thing. Before I was running like techie cards for certain matchups, but this is kind of a catch-all to nuke the board, especially versus something like Guru Control, and then there's summon out the kaiju's. Um, two crow because we don't like Orcus. Two Nibiru because we don't like spirals. Two raw because we don't like spirals when they don't overextend. Three evenly matched to catch everything else. Uh, that's pretty much the generator deck idea. I picked these up when they were 10s. They skyrocketed to like 35 or 40 or something now. Hopefully everybody else got their uh, sets. Um, because this card's really important in this meta. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this generator boss deck profile. Uh, it's super fun. I love it. I think it's one of the best rogue decks in the meta right now. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it becomes really, really, really good with Eternity Code. We get a level 4, level 3 fairy monster that... <coughs> pardon me. I have this stupid cough that hasn't gone away since uh, Christmas. So I apologize to everybody out there. Uh, and... First off, it pumps all of our tokens up by, or I'm sorry, all generator monsters up by 1,000. So our tokens become 2,500. Uh, any of our generator monsters just get a buff. It's a great card. It allows us to also tribute a generator monster in the field to go find one from our deck. So it's like boss stage on steroids. Um, really, really powerful. Uh, the second one we get is Hoar. I think it's his name. Uh, he is Ash Blossom on Lakes. So if they try to add a card, you just like negate and destroy their effect, which is really awesome. Um, and those two decks kind of take this deck to the next level. There's also cool, cool things you can do with the new um, Mech Knight. Or not Mech Knight. Sorry, the new Orcus card coming out uh, in like... Uh, it's like a, a cross link monster. I can't remember the exact name or what the name will be for us. But the combination allows you to send World Legacy Wand or something to the graveyard and, or key. And then you go grab your World Legacy Monstrosity. So like Foolish Burial, Good Space, or Foolish Burial, the card essentially. And then proceed to play after making all a bunch of link plays and everything. It's just on demand in the extra deck. That's when the extra deck will matter because then room will be tight. Uh, just giving you guys some future advice if you plan on investing in the deck. It is <coughs> quite amazing and it should be really, really good with the new cards in Eternity Code. So get on this deck now. Don't sleep on it. And hopefully you enjoyed the uh, deck profile. Um, and sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, I've been busy with the holidays and to like being sick, you know, or, well, not sick, but having this cough. I hate recording whenever I have an ailment like that. But I was able to get through this deck profile because I'm super excited about it. It was tons and tons of fun. And, uh, yeah, until next time, take care and have a good one, YouTube. Later, everybody.